Hello and uh, welcome or welcome back. Okay, um, this is a, for those of you who don't know, this is a tutorial based uh, search channel um, and <clears throat> I'm going to show you uh, my results. I'm going to show you how um, you can do this. Well, predominantly through the, through the earlier videos that I've done, um, show you how you can um, find this information out for yourself um, and if anything doesn't make sense you know just ask so uh, okay right today if I can see I can't see very well at the moment um, we're going to be looking at uh, Callisto not the, not this image is uh, it, it's too poor um, but that's what the planet looks like um, now all of these uh, photos will be taken by Voyager I like showing these um, even though this is a, a crappy one but there we go okay so the first image uh, we're going to take a look at <clears throat> is uh, this one okay and as you can see it's a very small file so uh, Let's take a look at it. This is it with uh, nothing done to it. Um, I do explain the processes which I go through before I enlarge these images. Um, so everything's there. Well, and I'm just going to run through this um, as quickly as I can because there's a there's a a lot to look at. Okay, right. So let's I'll just show you oh God you can see it pixelating and stuff something else I want to point out as well on these uh, images if I go down here you can see this um, blurred out square there's a small line here and across the whole image, um, there are these little, um, they seem quite uniform. I don't know why they're there, um, but there are small blurred out circles. And as we go through it, I'll, I'll point them out as, as, um, as we go through. There's one here, one here, one here on here they're, they're hard to make out but um, um they are across the whole image um and i don't really know why i'm there look you can see a line there one two three four five there you go so i don't know what they're don't know what they're there for but um it's a bit odd Uh, this is a very prominent um, feature on Callisto. Um, it's called um, Valhalla, I think. It's supposed to be an impact crater of sorts. Um, and um, it's all right. I've already done this video. I'm just like trying to get my head around what I'm what I'm trying to trying to do again. Um, but that is a feature that it's like 600 kilometers um, big. Uh, I think Callisto is about uh, 2,400 kilometers diameter. The Moon is around about 1,700. So it just gives you an idea of the scale. And this this feature here. Um, you'll notice where it comes up. So anyway, let's have a look at the image I've been working on. This is a, a different one. Um, I'm fortunately, I'm still um, suffering from a, shall we say, a weak computer that can't handle the, the, the size of the files and I'm getting corrupt saves and uh, so and I can't really use the photographs but it's something I've, I've explained before <clears throat> you need pretty 
powerful computers to be able to process the, the amount of information that are in these images. Okay, so, so let's just get into it. Now it's going to take you a few minutes to um, for you to adjust to these um, images. Now they are quite old as well. I think um, the Voyagers went out in, I think first went out in 77 or something like that. So um, I'll show you. I flipped this image as well. Um, it just works this, this better this way up. You can see like this edge here. And I think it's just the way the image was processed, put together. So tiny little strips sort of thing. So. But okay, let's um, let's start down here. There's that feature again. So, like I always say, um, pause and um, just take just take the image in. It's a crazy one. It's a crazy one. Unfortunately, this is nowhere near as finished as the other one that I was uh, doing, but. Uh, Hey ho. Okay. Um, let's just going to do a bit of surfing around so you people can um, have a look and uh, see what you can see. There's quite a lot to get through on this, but I just thought it was um, just seemed right to use various <clears throat> or different photographs of the same place and see if we can get any uh, matches, um, stuff like that. Just got to check the time. And this down here. Because I did this the other day and only for some reason stopped recording halfway through. But it's um, me and computers, I don't think we get on very well. Right, what am I doing? Okay, I'm just going to do some. Call it screen surfing or of sorts. Now, this moon, um, in regards to sort of the other stuff that I've done. is uh, one that, see that blurred out area, blurred out area, there's a circle, there's a circle. So they seem to me to be quite regular, I don't know, it's something that has become part of their uh, the uh, processing of the image. I don't quite know. Something that's been bugging me for ages now, and I'm, I've been watching a few other channels and stuff, and there is, you know, everyone seems to be. Um, miffed about the, the the quality of the uh, the images we get to see and how the the most I don't know, advanced organization on the planet 
can't produce images any better than like a 20 year old mobile bloody phone so but this is what we have to deal with so the surface of this uh, planet is very much um, they say it's moon like Mars like and Mercury like so I've done stuff on Mercury and Mars of course I did a did a quick one on the moon actually I've got a lot on the moon I'm going to be doing that because there seems to be a lot of obviously a lot of interest in the moon at the moment and uh, so okay let's let's have a have a little go at doing this and the reason I do do this um, sorry to repeat myself but um, it allows you to focus on what I'm looking at and but ultimately um, will help you see what I'm seeing Now, if you think I'm drawing, I'm not drawing. Um, look at some of the other videos and explains the tools I'm using. I'm actually using a, a dodge tool <clears throat> at the moment, and they just play with the different uh, tones in the the pixel tones, uh, and you can choose. We are down here. Obviously, highlights, midtones, shadows. Burn makes it darker. Dodge makes it lighter. And that's predominantly it. They're specific. They only do what they can do. So I'm not laying anything down. What I'm actually doing is when you're lightening, you're lightening it basically. And when you dark it, you dark it. And I can use those tools different combinations well, on different images to reduce blur um, and pull out hidden hidden details On the other image that I worked on, you can see a vague line running through here and into this area. Fortunately, unfortunately, however you want to look at it, this is one of these, uh, a surface which is so busy, cluttered, however you'd like to. 
describe it that it can be very confusing about what you're looking at so you have to take the take your time with these um, low quality images see these blurred spots they're not actually too much of a problem working on this image because there's so much in it anyway So just out of interest, this image has ended up at 18,000 by 18,000 pixels. Um, and I think it started at, there you go, 797 times 797. So for those of you who are trying to trying this and upscaling that's where it ended up at quick look in uh, in here and uh, then we'll move on to something else just thought I'd show you the the low quality images um, just in respect to that you can you can still get information out of them uh, there's something that it just completely does my head in um, how, I mean, I mean, obviously these places are so studied that the craters are named, um, they know about the atmosphere, the surface, the, the, so on and so on. But how the, how the hell are you supposed to be able to study these images when they're so poor how, how do people let me know I mean if you're a student of or you're 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 going to be studying this type of subject matter what what images do you look at how do you observe them I mean simple simple as Sending a a, a, a a what do you call them a rover to the moon or to Mars to the surface to take samples take pictures. It's all about it's getting as close to these places as possible, and. Um, 
I don't see how any professional or any student I mean, would, would, would find these acceptable because you can't you can't see anything just have one quick look in there see how I'm going on now it's going to take Now, for those of you who have uh, seen some of my other videos, um, you start to notice things. Things become regular uh, shapes, the way things are structured. Um, it's just my way of saying, like, watch the other videos and... Uh, it will make a lot of sense or it will start making sense to you so much going on okay right so um, we're going to be looking at this one next, which I think you'll find pretty interesting. Pause it, give it a read, blah, 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 blah. This is Voyager 1 and 2, um, Southern and Northern Hemisphere. We'll be looking at the Northern Hemisphere. So here we go. Oh, here we go. Computer starting to silly buggers now before I enlarge this I did the, um, the burning process light and dark and a bit of contrast um, so let's start with uh, Val Hala Right. Okay, so you can see the, the rings coming off. So we're just going to look at the places. I'll just randomly, I'll try to look in every segment. Oh dear. And like I was talking about, I mean, why is this like this? And then we've got a, a crispy little area. <clears throat> Don't know.
this is where I started. Now these are very interesting. See how my computer is slowing up. Somehow got to get a a new one. So initially when you're doing this, I might be, basically I'm just scribbling over the top and then when I can see some more definite highlights then you can uh, move into the image and be more specific to pull out um, smaller detail refine it just show you the burn and that would be mid-tones Just do this little area here. So that would have worked on a different set of pixels. And I move back to the highlights. Um, that was a bit crude. Brush is a bit big. demonstration purposes Okay, remember this. And we seem to have another one. If you are new to this and you've made it this far, um, I'm simply just showing you what the image contains, which you can't see. And uh, 
this channel will go, can show you how to reveal this stuff yourself. Simple as that. <clears throat> You know, people say, well, uh, yeah, it's just just what you're pulling out of a poor quality image. Is. First thing is, like, why is it a poor quality image? Why can't I have a closer look? Um, and it's simple. I mean, if you're interested enough. a very easy setup and uh, you can do your, do this yourself Now, I would have thought, you know, if you're a professional or amateur, I've said this before, it just, it just confuses me. Um, would you not have a Photoshop or, or, or GIMP to have a look at the images? I mean, it's just that's what that's what it's all about, isn't it? Imagery. And would you not have a look? In this manner, I mean, I mean, it. it, it it's just. Uh, to me, it's it's a hand in hand thing. So basically, I've just chosen a few areas of this just to demonstrate. Well, not demonstrate, but it's what I do. I just randomly go around, see what I can find. That's had nothing done to it apart from the initial process before I enlarge and start working on. Okay, it's another one of these things. You see, this has these areas coming off it, but it's all attached. You can see it's actually attached. It's a false color, so. They can put the colour wherever they want. I'll try not to move around too much like that. It's uh Oh, I could use the uh, there's a few things this program really needs um, in respect to this type of work. Come on, you can do it, computer. Okay. Let's 
get a bit closer. Like I said before, if, if I do flit around the screen a bit, I'll try not to, just so I can keep your concentration on what I'm doing. Um, it's just what my eye sort of picks up. So these videos will be as long as they are long. Um, it's this process which takes the time, but I think it's essential. It's all very well like showing you an image that I've been working on for, you know, like 20 hours or something like that, but you know, in, in could be from anywhere. I think it's good to show the the process um, just helps you understand better I don't suppose you can hear my computer, but it's groaning. Very not designed for... Um, just can't deal with these large files. Just holding, you're just, just keeping the files open, it's, it struggles with. Let's have a look at that. You see, why is that like that? And then, like pants. What are we having a look at? All right. Okay.
So as you can see, there's unusual stuff everywhere. And there's no, no descriptions anywhere about, you know, how unusual the surface looks and what these forms are. N nothing at all. And going back to it, say, you know, if I was a, a scientist or an astronomer, And, you know, there's a lot of photographs where you you don't necessarily have to do any of this this work to. Um, would it not simply just... Wouldn't you want to know? Or are you scared of something? Now, I don't know if you can see the circular area here. You might have to pause this and just have a good stare. So we have a central region here, and it looks to me as though we're not completely bird's eye over this. We can see, if I get in there. So imagine these are going down. This is a lower area. Obviously, it's darker. So you can see the inside. There's like a ring. See this ring here? I'll point it out on a, on, on another map in a, in a minute. I don't think it's actually this one. But these, you know, the traditional crater with the rim, the lower middle area stuff, um, these don't seem to be. The central area of the craters, which I'll show you in a minute, um, they seem to be like canopies. I haven't looked at this area yet.
mean, what is going on there? So similarly again, uh, similarly, gone again blind and losing my speech capabilities. This ringed area. <clears throat> it's just how I keep seeing stuff. Yeah, these uh, these maps are interesting. But as you can see,
Come on, computer. Strange stuff. So. More stuff here. That's a good fun map, that. Okie doke, right, so, where are we going to go next? Um, okay, I think. Okay, we, we're going to have a look at this one now. Obviously, pause, have a read, get some info. Right, okay. Now, what was that? Uh, 5 megabyte, like 2000 by 2000. This is what you've got to look at and see. You know, the, the, the less you have to enlarge something, uh, the better, really. Okay, so let's go there. That's, I've, I've, um, I've moved this to, uh, the same way up as this, just so you can get an idea. So that's the Valhalla area. Okay. So that's the start of, uh, some research. There's that area again which I pointed out in the other okay right so here randomly chose a spot and uh, I think we may have just seen that one on in, in the uh, the northern hemisphere photograph um, but as you can see strange stuff again it's a different map as well So and with enough time and stuff, I'm sure you could uh, match these these things up. So that's that's quite weird. Let's have a my computer trying to catch up. I look at a lot of these images and I'm just like, especially when you do, when you've, um, you've randomly chosen an area and found something and you're thinking, oh no, like the, the whole image is going to take, it's just the way it is. So it can be a bit daunting. Um, and what I said about, uh, this image um, that I cropped I'll show you how to crop so in a lot of cases and I think especially when you're starting doing this um, find a map do some tests crop an area then really enlarge that and just work on that and see what you get out of it Okay, right, so I'm going to chuck some, uh, do some burn in there now. Um, depending what images you're working on, I, I, I've said, you know, you use the, the dodge, the highlight, then I would use, um, then I would burn the highlight, which sort of flattens it out. Just to be, you have to, you have to experiment with it. But I'll do, um, I'll do a tutorial as well, just specifically using these. Um, and the basic process that I go through 
and it's all very basic. And like I said, I mean, this computer I'm using is just a simple office computer. Um, just can't handle it. Okay, dodge back to the highlights. It's the same exposure. Um, So you remember where I started with this little patch here. Nothing specific, but um, definitely something going on. What is it? Mine boggles. So we've looked at one, two, three maps so far, obviously of the same place. So 
So I was talking about these, the elevated central areas of crater looking things. Do you know, it, it, this is crazy, right? Because I'm finding this on an office computer. Just makes me laugh. That, as you can see, is a uh, not having much fun. Let's go in there again. Now, why wouldn't anyone say, can you explain this? The reason is because uh, most people know everything about everything or everything about nothing. And this is simply it. These are the images. This is what I'm finding. Don't often use the um, burn shadows. It's quite a quite a pokey strong tool, um, but I'm just going to try it on this section because it's very unfinished, and see what we get out of it. Quickly gonna quickly.
So every map so far seems to be, um, yeah, oh, right, right, oh, I forgot about this one. Um, now, I downloaded this years ago because it came in as a PSD file, which means Photoshop, which means I didn't have any screen um, capture <clears throat> uh, capabilities at the time. I think it came from uh, Go Astronomy. Um, very low quality. Uh, these are called surface maps, syndical surface maps. So the top is distorted. Um, please work, computer. So we'll just I'll just show you quickly around around here. Um, this is the Valhalla area again. So, okay. Come on, computer. Now people say, well, it just this just isn't isn't good enough. Just a bunch of uh, I think this is uh, this reason why I've done like you know four four maps and stuff. Just to show you that um, it's present on uh, everything. say pause have a look check this out it's these they look like um tops of this is the top and there is various things going into it takes a while to adjust to the image You know, you could show people this and it just wouldn't be good enough, even though they're NASA images. Uh, this is an area which I found quite cool. I haven't really done anything to this, but... Strange shapes, formations. Everywhere. But this area here I was looking at is quite um quite interesting. You can see the varying qualities in the image from blurredness. So there's a whole blurred area. Um sorry if you can hear me then. I was uh, leaning back. But it's something you can work on and on and on and on, just refine using these tools. Um, let's have a closer look. See this area here? This is all you could see basically, a small dot and that area there, not, you see how this comes along, it looks like it goes down and then this is back up. I 
and they're sort of on the central area so it's going to be pretty much well, it looks pretty much um, from above but you still see some perspective angle inclination a bit of the sides Really? Look at this. These colors are not real. And like I've said before, the tools distort the colors full stop anyway, especially the burn. So, there we have it, another map, very very low quality this started at, too many questions, okay right and finally um, I've got this one because it's similar to the first one that I showed you. Um, very low quality. Okay, right. So we are... This is it. And I think... Just gonna do that if the computer can handle it. Maybe, maybe not. Just to move this into this is the area, the Valhalla area coming in, so north is that way. There we go, not responding. Can't handle the information. Maybe that was a bad move. Here we go. Right. So all I've done to this is uh, burn the image and it's been scaled up and I did a load of work on this. Oh, or maybe, maybe not, I don't know, get a bit confused. But these, uh, these capped craters, 
as we'll call them. So again, again on this image, as you can see the small blurred out spots, regular, don't know what they are, don't know what they are. But again, this is a very, very busy uh, image and needs lots and lots of work doing on it. Oh. This is what I wanted to show you. So within a few minutes you should be uh, adjusted to um, looking at this. So this is the top, this is the back side. As you can see, and that comes down. So this would be a, a front area of sorts. So if you're interested in any of these maps and you are giving it a go and you do need a hand, uh, just give us a shout. It's not that difficult. Hear some strange noises. It's uh, next door. Been having their kitchen redone. Look at this. Do some more work on that. Huge, strange looking structures.
There's so much in this image. Craziness. Look at all this stuff. It's incredible. that area where I was pointing out. On the other maps. Okay, as usual, um, the all work is um, ongoing. And as and when I do uh, more work to the mod, I'll, I'll show you, obviously. But this is a good exercise in low quality images as well. Um, And uh, I hope me uh, showing you the process that I use has enabled you to see this stuff. This is the goal, and obviously to get to get you doing this. And uh, there we go. I think I'm going to leave it at that. Um, I hope this has... Um, well, I hope you got something out of this, basically. Um, there's a lot of people that use uh, magnifiers as well. I haven't actually tried that um, for uh, viewing this type of sort of stuff. Um, So I'm going to give that a go.
but I do I do the work, so I'm 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 right in there. I'm I'm uh, I look at this stuff for hours and hours. But it's just craziness. Another moon in our solar system. Um, where there certainly doesn't look like to be uh, any real estate left. Let's put it that way. Okay, I've probably missed loads of stuff. Um, but... Uh, there we go. And as always, always, thank you for watching. Um, and um, if you have watched this for the first time, have a look at the other stuff. Don't be and tell people about it. You know, the results um, speak for themselves, and you can do this yourself. Anyone can do this. It's that simple, you know. I'm not a massive organisation. Um, so just think about that as well, you know. It's, um, I'm just sick of having my face rubbed in this stuff. So um, this is why I'm doing it. Um, and it's so interesting as well. All right, right guys. Um, I'm off. And um, I will see you soon.